Hey guys, um, so I'm here to do a little video, uh, say hello, talk to you guys a little bit, get you a little bit of a feel for being back in the shop, things like that, uh, in case you're missing it in here and uh, don't remember what it feels like in here. Uh, the school turned the heat off, which is pretty par for the course. And right now we are at 57 degrees in here. So it's a little chilly. Um, be nice to have some more bodies in here, kind of warm the place up a little bit, have someone to talk to. But here I am quarantined all by myself, nice and social distanced in the shop, um, trying to take all the precautions. But what we're gonna do today is start that Chase Lounge chair build. Uh, you guys have been looking at plans, estimating materials, all that good stuff. Uh, but we're actually gonna start building it today. So what we're gonna do today's video is get to this point. Maybe not even have everything put together, but we wanna get all those parts cut out, um, assemble these supports along here, assemble our leg supports there. Uh, I've got my cut list printed off and ready to go. And the uh, stuff in the yellow is the parts that we need today. And I'm gonna be building two of these. We have a new house, uh, it's got a pool, nice backyard. Hopefully the weather does warm up pretty soon. Um, and so we're gonna build two of these for the, the um, pool deck. And you guys will kind of hopefully just get a chance to follow along and learn a little bit as we go. Now, the first thing I wanna say is that when we did the uh, material estimations, we kind of figured out together that you need 12 foot two by fours and you need seven of them. And then you need one eight foot two by four. Well, because I bought a ton of material for you guys to start your projects and we were not able to ever start those, um, I've got a whole wood room full of material that I'm going to use to kind of repurpose to make these chairs. Um, so I'm gonna be using eight foot two by fours, which is not the most efficient way and cheapest way to do it, but it's within, it was, I think the total was within three or $4 of each other to use um, eight footers versus 12 footers. So it's not the end of the world. But so my numbers will look a little bit different. We're gonna use eight footers. Um, to do one chair, you need two rail supports, 76 inches, four legs at 11 inches, two leg supports at 22 and a quarter, and two seat support rails at 76 inches. Um, and we're gonna double those numbers for what we need to do. Um, I think that's it. So my first thing that we're going to do in this project, excuse me, with the, the steps, is I need to take my two by fours, which if you remember are one and a half thick and three and a half inches wide, and they're 96 inches long because they're eight footers. And I wanna plane those down to inch and a quarter. All of my material thickness is at either inch and a quarter or inch and three eighths. And so for my, um, I'm gonna do my seat support rails first, so I'm gonna to go to inch and a quarter, and then everything else will go to one and three eighths. Um, I won't videotape the whole process of planing. I'm sure you guys don't miss the sound of that. And it was probably the most boring thing that you guys did on your projects anyway. Um, so I'm gonna go back there, get started planing, and then we will pick up after that on where we're cutting things and all that kind of good stuff. All right, see you in a few. Made uh, one little change. I told you guys that um, everything could get planed to one and three eighths except for those two boards. So we have our, our seat support rails, which are inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter by 76. So what I did, instead of doing the whole eight foot boards uh, to inch and a quarter, I cut off the two little pieces at the end. So I chopped these off before I ran those through the planer. And so then what I have here are my two 76 inch pieces that I ran through the planer. So each one of these two, I cut a little bit longer. I cut to 76 and a half just to give me some wiggle room in case I make a mistake. Planed them down to inch and a quarter. All of these boards and these two boards then all got planed to our inch and three eighths. And so the next thing I'm going to do is go through the seat support rails and they're already at inch and a quarter thickness and I'm gonna cut them to inch and a quarter uh, width and I need two of those. And I can get two out of one board. And remember I'm making two chairs so I'm gonna double that. So I'll have four of these when I'm done. Here we are with our uh, table saw setup. So we're at inch and a quarter. Uh, my blade height is already set up to the correct side. I'm choosing my best edge to go against the fence and we're gonna run everything through, not everything, these two boards through twice a piece at inch and a quarter. Okay, so um, I finished cutting the uh, seat supports, which are inch and a quarter, whoops, by inch and a quarter. Uh, now I'm gonna move on to all my other pieces. And all my other pieces have already been planed to inch and three eighths, just like it calls for in the plan. 
and then it's gonna go to three and one quarter width, all right? And remember, my material to start with is three and a half. Um, those pieces over there are way too big to plane, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run each one through the table saw twice. My first cut, I'm gonna take it to three and three eighths. So from three and a half down to three and three eighths. That kind of cleans up that edge, and then I'll flip it over, and then we'll cut the other side down to three and one quarter. So what you'll see with all of those is each board's gonna get twice to make sure I have two really good edges. Um, so we'll do that right now. Okay, um, <clears throat> all that material over there has now been planed to inch and three eighths. It's also been ripped to three and a quarter, which is exactly what all of our plans call for. And now I'm gonna worry about lengths over here on this column. All right, so I need to have two pieces at 76, four pieces at 11, and two pieces at 22 and a quarter. And I'm gonna double that for the sake of um, you know, me building two chairs. And so what you'll see is now we'll be going over to the miter saws to make our cuts to length. And um, again, I'll be cutting each board twice to make sure that both ends get cut and stay square. Okay, so um, I have my four pieces. And you'd only need two if you were doing one chair, but for me doing two, I needed four of these pieces <clears throat> to 76 inches. I went ahead and cut my side seat supports or my seat supports. So those are all one and a quarter inches. Those are exactly 76. Uh, so that leaves me only needing to do uh, the rail supports I'm done with and the seat support rail I'm done with. So then I'm left with needing four 11 inch pieces and two 22 and a quarter. And the plan is to use as much of my scrap material from those other boards that I just cut to 76 as possible to get all those uh, smaller pieces done. So realized one thing, um, I need eight of the 11 inch pieces, not just four. And so I have two more scraps that I can get two of my 11 inch pieces out of. And then I went back in the room to the uh, cutoffs back there and I found a piece that was at least 22 inches. And so I'm gonna make my other two legs to get me to eight legs out of this. So uh, I'm gonna pause it real quick. I'll be back, cut these other last pieces to 11 and then we'll pick back up. So where we're at now, um, <clears throat> I kind of got them grouped in here for our two different chairs. I needed two uh, rail supports that are one and three eighths by three and a quarter by 76. That's these two long ones right there. I needed four one and three eighths by three and a quarter by 11. That's those right there. I needed uh, two leg supports. And each of those were one and three eighths by three and a quarter by 22 and a quarter. That's those right there. And my seat support rails were inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter by 76 inches. And that's these two skinny ones. So each one of those sets is complete to, to really begin this first stage of building our chair. And so what we'll pick back up now is probably doing some assembly here in just a second. Okay, so the next step, doing a little assembly. I've got my side support rail going along my side support. So I'm gonna attach those together. And I've got inch and a quarter material, inch and three eighths material. And so a two inch screw will go through to the one good enough to get into the other one. Uh, I'm gonna run the screws from the inside through the smaller piece into the bigger piece, attaching those together. So I'm basically I'm gonna make two uh, side support assemblies. Um, and then I'm gonna do that all over again for the second chair. And so that's what we're working on right now. So you'll kind of see me, um, I'm gonna pre-drill. And then I've got that set up over here for my pre-drill. I've got this set up to drive my screws. And so I'm not gonna worry about countersinking because these screws in here you won't see, but I am gonna drill a pilot hole so I don't have any splitting because that's already really thin material. 
So the next little bit that you'll see is, is me doing some assembly now. So you can see here that I've got uh, kind of that side support assembly done. Um, one thing I am gonna do is, is this support rail here is gonna take a whole lot of the weight when people are sitting on this. So I might go back through and throw, throw a few more screws in there. Uh, but for the most part, that part's done and we'll get back together in just a minute. Uh, I'm not gonna show you uh, me doing the other ones because it's the exact same, just repeating the process. Okay, uh, next step here, if we take a look at our plan, um, we've got, these ends to put together so that piece is going to go into that into that and because i can't get a screw through three and three quarters three and a quarter uh, we're going to use the craig jig on the inside so i've got my craig jig here i've also went through all my four boards and you can see at the end i've got pencil marks and i did that with all my boards so that you can see hopefully and i can see when i get going where i want the holes to be and i don't mess that up so i've got all that set up uh, to do my material if you remember, we planed these to inch and three eighths, uh, which is not gonna, oh, it does show up on there. So if I look at my material thickness and I go down, that's one and one eighth, one and a quarter, one and three eighths, okay? And then it goes over here and it tells me that I need two inch screws. So I get this little contraption out and I can see that that's where I want it to be. Okay, so I'm going to loosen this up just to get my adjustments done. So I've got my Allen wrench that comes in these little um, compartments. And I can drop it in any of the holes I want here. Oops, my Allen wrench gets stuck. Oh, I forgot to get this up to the right size. Okay, so now that's set up to inch and three eighths. All right, and then this I want to go until it hits that little two inch spot. So it's resting right there. Got it where we want it. And I'm gonna tighten this back down. And this is nothing new to you guys. You guys have all set up the Craig jig before. Double check. Okay, so I'm all set up to make my holes now. Uh, so the drill bit's been set up. So then all I gotta do is take my piece in here, slide it in, clamp it, and we'll be good to go. So just real quick, a little reminder on how you set it up. I'm going to center my material, and then I'm going to drill into the outside two holes. So I'm centering it. And while it's all the way up, what it tells you to do is just slide this thing forward, and then we can clamp it down and we're ready to do our holes. So I'm just gonna kind of spin this a little bit and I'll show you guys one of them and then you can do your own holes a little bit later whenever you're ready. So I've got my uh, drill bit mounted in the drill and I was driving screws with this but now I wanna make a hole. So I go up to the drill bit setting where it's gonna go full speed. I'm on the second one and remember we're going to do the outside two holes okay and this might be loud for just a second okay so there's our two holes made just like that and then you are going to do those on uh, both ends of the inside of these pieces down here okay we now have our uh, all of our holes drilled, our Craig jig pocket holes at the ends of this top piece. And it's gonna assemble into our leg right there. And I've got it all clamped up already. So this is clamped down to the table to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And then I've got another clamp right on the seam of where those two are gonna go together, pinching both boards flat so that I don't get out of, um, you know, out of square as I'm driving the screw. So I've got that there. I've got my two inch screws, I've got my drill. My drill is set up to the screw setting rather than the drill bit setting. So the clutch is engaged. I'm starting the clutch at about 30 to try it first. And so then we've got it all clamped and we'll see how this goes. 
I turn it up a little bit, I'll go to 40, but that did draw in pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and run the other one in. And now I'm backing up the first one just to make sure it still stayed nice and tight. And driving it back in. Loosen my clamp there. Loosen my clamp there. Kind of give it a little bit of a test. And you can see I've got that nice and flush there. Nice and flush there, square as I can get it to try to get this nice uh, leg assembly coming together. And I'm gonna do the same thing down here on this end now. Kind of reverse it a little bit. When I'm looking at my legs, I choose which side of the leg I like the best. And I'm gonna put that down in this instance so that that's what's seen when our chair goes together so it looks nice and pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna clamp this one down. So it doesn't go anywhere. Bring this one over. Get it nice and square, as square as I can get it. And again, with this second clamp, I'm putting it right on the seam so that it holds both things nice and flush. And we're ready to drive a screw now. One in. Two in, loosen my clamps, and I've got a nice leg assembly here that will become kind of the top and bottoms of our chair. So one down, um, I'll do the next ones off camera, and then we'll get back together. And now, we, this kind of brings us to the end of our uh, first section, so this was uh, Chase lounge build uh, number two. It asks you to come up with plans. Um, so we've got this assembled. We have both of our rail support rails over here assembled. And so then this will be able to make one of our chairs and that's gonna be able to make our second group of chairs. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, and that completes it for this video. Thanks for watching.